Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Rugby World Cup 2007 as a part of my Match Day Monday series. As you can see we're in the quarterfinals against Australia and uh, already there have been two quarterfinals already decided. The All Blacks beat uh, Argentina 27 to 9 and the South Africans beat Wales 41 22. So it's us against Australia and France against Scotland in the other quarterfinals. So let's see how we do and see if we reach the semi finals of the World Cup. Okay, so England versus Australia in the World Cup quarterfinals. Let's see how we do. It's a good start there. It's not like last game where we had the penalty straight out. Oh no! Can't find a way through. Just about tackled in with Robinson. Have we won the ball back? We have. You love to see it. It's gone that way. Go. Cueto's uh, first game of the uh, of the World Cup. Lucy's back as well. Robinson's on the ball. You love to see it. Joe Worsley is there. Ball comes back. Maybe oh. Hill with the catches the offload. And it's a good tackle from the fullback there. They do put someone back. Oh no! Well, we'll take it. Johnny Wilkinson's kick is up, and it's good. And we take a three nothing lead. Australia, I can always. I can already feel are better than what we've played so far just from how they've been in possession of the ball. Doesn't mean that we're going to be any worse in possession of the ball of course. Just means that hope, hopefully the game will be a bit tighter. Oh, that's a high tackle. Might be offside but watch this tackle on Lawrence Denalio. Jason Robinson. And they go to ground to perform the run. Have they they've turned the ball over the cheeky bastards? The clearance made. It's a big kick downfield as well, because of course Robinson was the fullback that got tackled. Lucy in his game back just breaks a tackle. Stays inbounds as well and we're already back around the Australia 22 they must be up asking what the hell they've got to do to damn it oh, intercepted oh let's go they've won the ball back again are you serious <laughs> oh hell no. Oh dear. It's the first try we've conceded of the tournament and it's Australia in the quarterfinals. I told you, I had a feeling that Australia were going to be better. I had That's already more points than we've conceded the entire tournament, so... Let's uh, get ourselves some points back. Go on, Hill. Give it to Tate. Wilkinson. Oh, he sidesteps him and Wilkinson's in for a try. You love to see it. We take the lead 8-7. to seven, Puts the team on his back once again. He has all 10 points of this game so far for England. So it's a much tighter game this time round, having blown out teams in the group stage. You know, this team's destiny is in my hands again. Everyone bind on. Stop moving. They lead Give it to feet. Johnny Boy. Hill. And if you miss Hello? Last piece is that a high team, tackle? Oh, dirty player. Who is that? That's their the outside centre. It's a straight red. 
Oh, Mortlock, you are a mug. And they've still got the ball. Excellent. Oh, it's a diving tackle from Joe Worsley. Spins it back. Larkham. Oh, we've got the ball back. We're going to make the pocket. Are they reaching in again? No, we're not going to take it quickly. We're going to kick the touch. Let's go get another score. That's a good throw. Go. Oh, yeah. Lawrence Delalio is, is a monster. Oh, Johnny's got the ball. But, no, it's not two metres short. Delalio. Joe Worsley dump tackled from about two metres out. Delalio in for the score. And he is. It always happened again. Like literally, he'd been trying to put the ball down. He's trying to put it down there, trying to put it down there, and then finally taken down, and we do score. So it's all right. The kick's good. It's 17 to seven. That gives us a little bit of breathing room. But this game has definitely been a lot tighter and a lot more difficult than what the group stage games were. So that's what I was hoping. Still, these returns are a bit, a bit too far, probably for Australia's liking. Joe Worsley's fast for a for a forward. Oh, but we lost the ball. It's a great tackle from Noon. We love to see it. Managing to Movement in the centre. Oh no. Ah. I'm really terrible at tackling on this game. Why is he kicking for touch? Sheridan's fast for a forward as well. He's a prop. Mark Cueto's going to go in. It's all set up from our forwards play. And there we have it. That's going to take it to 22. That should hopefully be the game. A good kick as they begin to draw away. Steams their lead even further. Grabs it. We have them all. We'll just keep charging, boys. Advantage being played. Wilkinson through the middle, tackled, but at least we retain possession. Wow, not much advantage then. And Tate just runs into the guy. Let's go Dawson. More advantage. Why, why do we have such little advantage? Oh, go on Hill. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he means, does he? Okay. Drop goal. And it's good. 27 to 7. That should be enough for the game. We're into the last last part now. And we'll just kick it out of bounds. That's full time. We win the quarter final 27 to 7. And well. That was a much tougher game, but we still scored three tries in that game. So, clearly the, the actual finals of the World Cup are much harder than the group stage. So that 27-7 win means that we go through to the semi-finals against France, which will be in next week's episode. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Rugby World Cup as a part of my Matchday Monday series, then please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.